go ahead and take a picture of your logo. Tap on your picture and tap on the share button. You will find Google Drive. If not, go ahead and click more and enable it for Google Drive. And then tap on it. Tap on my drive and then save here. And finally, tap upload. Once you have put your image into Google Drive, go ahead and right click it and download. Go to new and then Google Drawing. Here's your new Google Drawing. Please rename it to brand logo design with the name of your brand as well. You can also change the dimensions of your image. Once you're done with that, go ahead and drag your image into Google Drawing. You can double click on the image to crop it. And I'm going to place it right in the center. Okay, now I'm going to trace all the shapes with the curve tool. I'm going to click around the shape all the way around until I hit the starting point. So here's my shape. I'm going to put it to the side and start on, on a new shape. So I'm creating shapes basically on based on the color. So this part of the helmet is black. So I'm creating a new shape for that. Basically you're coloring in the image with shapes. Now for the upper body. I want to place the neck below the head. So I'm going to right click on the shape, go to order and send to back or send to backwards. Now I want to create the strap for the backpack. I'm going to use polyline and this creates shapes that are that have straight lines as sides. And for the backpack I will use a shape and then I will rotate it by clicking on the blue dot so that it is diagonal. And now for the pants and the shoes I will again use the tool curve. Make sure to click and go all the way around until you hit the starting point. Now I'm going to fast forward for the other parts of the image. Now it's time for the circle part of the image. So I'm going to go to shapes. So click anywhere in the screen and then it will create a circle for you. Go ahead and hold shift and then alter the size. And that will keep your per perfect circle. I'm going to put it to the side and now create the ground. Go back to shape and then create an oval. Okay, now you can delete or you could put the image um, or your drawing to the side and then place all your shapes in the center. I want the circle to go to the back, so I'm going to click on it and click and hold command and press down multiple times. Now it's time to add color, so I click on a shape and then I choose a color. It is extremely important that you make sure the lines of each of the shapes are transparent. That will give you a cleaner look for your image or your logo. Okay, so now you can see that the white helmet can be seen um, because of the black circle. So you can actually double click on it and alter the shape. Uh, you can see the nodes and then just go ahead and click and drag and adjust them. Now it's time to insert a word, a word art. Um, this piece is called Dream. So I'll type Dream and then press enter. Make sure to make the line transparent. Change, alter the color. And then you can go to the font section. And click more fonts if you do not like what you have. Now I want to create a border for the logo. Go ahead and click on the outer shape. Make a copy by holding command C and then paste command V. Make sure to hold command and press down so that you're sending it backwards. Now you can change the color and make the line transparent. Now that we're finished, we can actually download it and you can include this logo into your website, really anywhere. 
Well, let's insert it into Google Slides. And there you go. We downloaded the image as a PNG so that you can only see the logo design with the background. 